So good morning, it's been a long time since I've done a little yoga with you. So you can just watch it or join it or whatever. Happy early Thanksgiving. Um, grab some weights, they're just kind of nice. It'll be kind of like a yoga sculpt today. Um, and we'll start off seated. Close your eyes, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring your hands into your heart, AJ. Now bring them up. Exhale, bring the hands into the heart. Exhale, head down and roll it up. Exhale, head down and roll it up. Roll side to side. Fingertips on the tips of your fingertips. Pads turn and twist. It's always really important to start out gentle in your yoga practice. Because the body gets thrashed with life, with work. Shoulders up back and down, up forward, and the hands and the wrists. And we'll get the feet. Just get them in there. And the knees. So we'll start off, fingertips underneath the, the buttocks, and just like up and down, waking up the belly. And that is the seat of your energy, of your metaphor of chakra, what digests everything. Just working on the belly. It's so busy working, and I have not really attended to offering that. Keep going. And then lying down, bring the legs up and just circle. Massaging the back and going the other way. Let us bring the knees an inch up off the ground and then up. Knees an inch off the ground and up. Knees an inch off the ground and up. And keep going. Just rocking. Rolling. And we'll do baby bridges. Inhale, arms above the head. Exhale, brings it down. Inhale, brings it up. This gets energy going. It's like 4 a.m. in the morning here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, brings it up. Knees, bring the left knee into the chest. So, Favana Muttasana, when we're moving pose, I like to bring my head side to side. We'll help relieve all the toxins that build up in your body. Helps with the process of elimination in the morning. Really essential. Really not full of it. Bring the knees into the chest. They both hug, rocking side to side. And then we'll rock up in seated suns. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands in the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands in the heart. Good. It's a little early for Navasana, but why not? Which is boat pose because it's another stimulating hold. And then bring the knees into the chest. Lift. Bring the knees into the chest. Lift. Bring the knees into the chest. Nice. The palms nice and warm. Rub your eyes for just one tiny minute. And your face. And then curl up into a little ball. Lift your arms up. One more side stretch. Knees in. And there. Good. So, cat and dog, feet hip distance width apart, head down, exhale and curl. Inhale from low back, middle back, upper back. Exhale and curl. Inhale and lift. Exhale and curl. Inhale and lift. Exhale and curl. Look to one shoulder, another, and then we're going to thread the needle, get rid of any shoulder stuff. Mark computers, breathing in and out. We're on our cell phones all the time. Our neck is cathodic and just rounded. This is un, un getting rid of all those kinks. Breathing in. And then take the hands and flip them the opposite way. 
neat stuff going on with the head. We'll come back on our toes. So this is intense. It's really good opening. The ankles. Hang out there for a little bit if you can. If not, you don't. Always do what you can. When you cannot, you come to child pose and just relax. And since we're here, we'll roll to one side. Roll to the other. And we're just going to roll into upward. Roll into upward. It's time to get up. But I'm already up. Back and roll forward and back. Curl the toes. Press up in a ragdoll. Keep your head yes to go sitting with the no to draw up. Inhale and lift yourself up. Exhale, hands up to the heart. And shoulders up to the ears, let them go. Shoulders up to the ears, let them go. And we'll do half suns. Flat back, exhale, fold. Flat back, exhale, fold. Flat back. Inhale, takes it up. Exhale, takes it down. Inhale, flat back, rise it up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, flat back. Inhale, takes it up. Hands into the heart. And we'll do a little leg lifts and get some energy. So anchor the left leg, lift the right, exhale, lift, lower, lift. Good. Circle the foot and the knee. Other side, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Good. Let's get the knees, circle them, circle the hips. And you see maybe a little bit going in the wrists. Shoulders. Good. So we're going to lift our A, bringing the energy of the sun into our practice, that solar power. Inhale, breath in, arms up. Exhale, always as you come down, hands underneath the shoulders, stack them. Exhale, come all the way to the ground. Inhale up, curl back on the toes. Exhale, downward dog. Shake a little bit. Get the tension out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Walk the feet forward. Hang. Flat back. All the way up. So transitions in life are really important. Look at chest set preparing for the next move. It is also in your yoga practice. So you're in high plank, and then you come down, elbows to the ribs, and then all the way down to the ground. It makes it easier on the rotators. Inhale, come up into your cat. Curl the toes, press into downward dog. Bend the knee, open the low back. Straighten, bend, straighten just a little bit. Walk the feet gingerly to the hand, pull. Then flat back. Use your belly muscles to come up. Never your back. Exhale, hand to knee heart. Back again. High plank. And then you can chaturanga. Inhale upward. Exhale, cat. Then downward dog. Shake a little bit. Breathing in. Exhale, H A. Left leg up to the sky. Swoop it forward, fingertips on the ground to stabilize, 45 and 90, front leg is 90, warrior one, get of the asana one, arms up, and exhale, warrior two, reverse, forehead to knee, and slide the leg back, knowing you can take child pose anytime when your practice is like too much, and you just need to stay here as a comfort. Roll and up. Swing the right leg forward. Grind the feet down so you're anchored. Lift the belly up into the heart. 
Verse, more head to knee. Slide back in your child one more time. So you know that it's there. Breathing. And roll into your up dog. Downward facing dog. And then starting that process all over again. Like up. Bring it through. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse. Side angle this time. Reverse. Nice. And then I love to do just a little twisting kind of water wheel. Breathe. Bringing the knee down, turn the twist. Slide that leg back and forth. Slide it back. And then inhale, upward dog. You can do a zillion chaturangas. It's very early in the morning. Honoring what I have, right leg up, warrior one, and reverse, and twist, forehead to knee, over your shoulder, nice, and just pause, and let's come into our little plank on the elbows, breathe, come on down, a little sphinx. So thinking today about transitions, doing everything with lots of transitions, very, very gently. Come all the way down, forehead down, just pause and breathe. Inhale, exhale. And then we'll do another, this is seal pose, you're all the palms are up and looking up. Exhale and fold. Enjoy being grounded, what they call Advasana, your belly on the ground, and just relaxing. And then hands under the shoulders, feel up into your baby cobra, up, feeling up. Exhale, let's just look over to your side. Belly rise, belly fall. Inhale, rise. Exhale, over. Palms face up. Legs up in the air, side to side, rocking. Just relax. Feel. Grab the feet. Kick up, reach up, bow pose. Each and lift. Very nice. One more back bend. I like to curl the toes. Ustrasana camel pose, awakening the thyroid which governs your metabolism, a lot, even sleep-wake cycles, really. Toes, heels, back. And inhale, come up. This is waking up a little bit. The hands open. Nice. Let's come up to standing. It's a little Kriya. Kind of energize your body. Inhale it up. Exhale down. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Tilt shoulders up, back and down. And we're really ready for balanced postures. Everybody thinks you can't balance, but you can on one leg. Up, out, up, out. Preparing for tree. Maybe you're here. If you can go all the way up, do it. Arms up. Let it go. And just grind it, grounding down. Being a tree, maybe you're here, but never in the inside of the knee. It's okay to wobble. I'm wobbling like crazy. One leg is stiff. So we'll get the knees going. Nice. And we're just going to cross one leg over the other. And fold yourself down. So we'll get the hamstrings. And I'll take it up. And then we'll fold the other one down. And then let's come all the way down. 
this is like the portion that's fun to do the weeds with. It's just a little ab routine. You can bring your weights, pull them down. And then you do a little Navasana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hold. Shake. Let's do a nice forward fold. Move it in. Come down. Good. Let's do it. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. Let's do that. Hold. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. One more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. And then you wanna one more back bend. Take the block. This is when we're going to do more arm stuff, but also get a bridge and put it underneath your back. You don't need it. It's really nice. You can also do it tall ways. So you're just taking it and you put it up. Right? Just grab the weight. And just lift it all the way back. And forward one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And if that feels awkward, you can always move it down and flat. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Just let it go. You can kick your legs up. This gives us that little inversion. Oh, so nice. Breathing in. So your yoga practice doesn't need to be totally crazy. And we can just do little toe taps to the lower belly. It's the subtle things that get the most results, not these big dramatic things. Little tiny practices every day will need incredible results. You notice the difference when you do and when you don't do. One more, one more, one more. Legs up. Ankles twirling. And legs down. One more thing with the arms. Look at the block there. Just I didn't have two of them by my side. We'll just do little flies. Little legs up. One. The ankles are free, but the inner arms are working. Two. Biceps, triceps. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 
And then just a little more legs, nothing too terrible. And then we'll stretch everything out. Do the side. So grab one weight. And just one, both leg and arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, only one set, twenty-seven, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Good. Nice. And then we'll do 27 the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28. Nice. And then just little knees for the outer thighs knee together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. And then I'll just turn and twist it. Good. I'm going to do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoops, and eleven. And then one of my personal favorites. Opposite hand of the foot, calf shin. Lengthen it out, a twist. It gets the rotators and the legs stretched at the same time. One more spinal twist. I do a lot of these because they remove the toxins in your body. You get a lot of stress. And the only time you get to wring it out is, is in your exercise. Forehead to the knee. Just relax, let go. Nearing the end of the practice. And then we'll do the other side. I'll just move it down. One side will be more tight than the other. Nice. Okay. And then you can sit. You can sit on your block. Like, we'll do alternate nostril. for the knees to sit like this. Breathing in for two. Hold, breathing in up for two. Looks weird, but we breathe too fast. It causes anxiety. This is the way to unfurl all that trauma and feed yourself with oxygen. Make things better. your spine, cleaning all the way up. Breathe down your feet. Breathe up your back. Breathe down your front. Breathe up your back. Breathe down your front. Breathe up your back. Breathe down your front.